from the depth instant tutorial. Well, hello, and you're most welcome back to Dumadism's instant tutorials in from the depth. And today I want to tackle the little issue where you have to have a ship that has a stabilized control while you also want to manually control the vessel. Now you can see on this little example vessel, what I did is just I spawned a prefab hull like this and you can see it's not very stable. And if we put a little ship wheel and a little control on it, we can control the ship of course. To enable the PID controls, you'll need some type of propulsion or something that of course can control it. Like roll, pitch, this is pitch, and this is the pitch in the back, and we have roll side to side, as well as forward propulsion and turning. Now this won't activate unless we go and set this up at some type of behaviors and activate them. And of course, maneuver, we're gonna set it as a ship. Now we should check use pitch controls and select this to zero. Now the roll PID thing is already set up by default using the ship control. And you can see if we go into these propellers, they are set to automatic control. You can either have them at automatic control or have them at manual control and set them as rollers. You can see for previously, it was both roller and pitcher because of its location. It's set up automatically, you don't always have to change it, but it can sometimes be a good idea to set up pitchers and rollers manually yourself. In any case, you can see this boat is now completely stabilized. However, if we go into the seat and try to maneuver it, you can quickly see that the stabilization isn't really working anymore. If you look down here, when we are turning the ship, the moment we are activating the ship, the rollers don't work anymore. You can see they are completely still. So here I'm gonna show you how to fix that and how to add manual stabilization. To solve this issue, you'll need to go into the control tab here. And you basically add a PID, general purpose. And if you only need to control roll and pitch, you add two of them. You can also control altitude and stuff like that this way. In any case, you'll just click Q on them to go into them. And you can select input channel or input signal roll. And then you'll select propulsion roll. And the gain values usually change. You can change them here so that you get a stable, stable output. If you have very many thrusters or propellers that controls roll, it might be a little bit strong for the default. Go into the other one and select pitch. And then you go into here and you'll select, well, of course, propulsion pitch. Right like that. Down here at the graphs, you can basically see when you have reached a stable value. You can decrease it until your pitch is nice. And here you can see we should decrease this a little bit until our roll is nice. The heavier you are, the higher this will be. But the lighter you are, we're extremely light right now, uh, the lower this needs to be. If we're really light, we have to have it at really small values. Sometimes you'll need to play with derivate, uh, derivate time too to get a nice and stable movement. When you have found a nice value that works for you, I would recommend you to take out your prefab and prefab this so you can reuse it for future ships. Right, so now we have this, which should mean that we should be able to use this takeover control from the AI. And still, you can see that we're actually moving our rollers and pitchers, even though I don't control it. Now, the rollers and pitchers that provide this automated stable control in manual mode, you can see in the upper left corner that I'm using the controls here. Uh, if you use the actual rollers like this um, or the pitchers like this they will of course uh, stop taking the signal output from the pid so basically in the ranking your manual control overrides everything but when you use your manual control to override the ai the ai's real uh, roll and pitch stabilization doesn't work either which is really sad so when you use the pids the pids will basically be higher ranked than the ai in controlling roll and pitch so you can still let them control that um, when you're in manual mode as long as you don't uh, press the roll and pitch keys yourself 
In any case, that's basically how to do it. Works pretty well, and of course, um, <laughs> the, the, the thinner the ship is uh, in its side, the more it will bump up and down. The lighter it is, the more it will bump up and down. Uh, you can also use uh, this type of method to control the altitude of the vehicle. I did this for the Gimli ship, for example. But in any case, this is basically how to do a manual mode controllable roll and pitch stabilization, which is very useful for all your vehicles in adventure mode and of course in uh, campaign if you're gonna control some ships yourself. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did, please do leave a like. And huge thanks to the Patreons, the commissioned officers in the army of Jumadism. I'll see you next time. This is Jumadism signing out.